Good morning guys and welcome to Rotterdam in the Netherlands on board MSC Virtuosa. Now if you are new to my channel then I'm Fraser and I am hoping to use this channel to essentially introduce you to everything to do with the cruise world. Now I had never done a cruise before and just happened to do one the year before Covid kicked off and absolutely fell in love with it so hopefully I can use my channel to help you pick your ideal itinerary, maybe your favourite cruise ship or your favourite cruise line that you'd like to give a try to and um, yeah let's see where we end up so feel free to click subscribe which you should be able to do just underneath the video today. Okay plug over I promise and this morning we are in Rotterdam in the Netherlands. Now I was actually here what about four weeks ago on another ship and I'm really excited to explore today because when I was last here long story short you'll have to watch the video to find out but I only actually got about one hour to explore Rotterdam so today I've got Pretty much all day, it's only 10.30 and all aboard is at, I think, 5ish. So yeah, pretty much all day. Now, a couple of things if you are coming to Rotterdam. So first up, I mean, as you can see, I'm in an inside cabin at the moment, which means if I can spin this round without breaking it, I would, but I don't have a window. So what you're looking at right now is one wall of the cabin, behind my camera is the other wall and the bed is against this wall. So all shut in. So I have no idea, <laughs> no idea what the weather is doing up there. Now, quite a lot of cruise ships will sometimes on the TV have like a bridge camera that you can at least try and get a bit of a feel for, but I haven't actually, to be honest, I haven't even tried to find it on this one. I haven't needed it. Um, one thing that's been really reliable though is on the daily schedule it gets sent out, you can hopefully, you might not be able to see because it's, uh, no, maybe. Anyway, it's got the, the, like the weather forecast detailed out on the page for you every day on this ship. So. Today, apparently, it's a minimum of 9 degrees, maximum of 12 degrees, which I actually can't believe we're getting that weather. I mean, it's what, the 4th of January today, and I genuinely expected it to be freezing here. So I've got my woolly hat, I've got my gloves, I've got my scarves, and I actually haven't needed them, which, yeah, a bit weird. Um, other point to note, so today, all aboard is 4.30, so not 5, 4.30, and sunset is what? 1637 so it's gonna be pretty dark by the time we sail out tonight if not pitch black so yeah daily schedule done the other thing to note about Rotterdam is that we have been given tickets and these tickets are essentially shuttle bus tickets that will get you from the ship into the city center now price wise MSC want 13 euros for an adult or 10 euros for a child and all you do is you literally just pop on well, you just fill it out before you go on the bus, basically. So you fill out your name, your cabin number, and how many adults and how many children, and then they'll bill your account. Now, personally, I, I mean, I'm definitely not going to take this. I, I wouldn't really advise on taking official cruise line excursion buses to a city like Rotterdam if we're docked where I think we are, but I haven't seen outside yet, so I, I actually have no idea. But for a family, you know, if you've got two adults and two or three children, Maths isn't my strong point, but if it's 13 euros an adult, that's going to be 26 plus 20 or 30 for a couple of kids. So it's a lot of money for a bus. And I found that when you come here, or when I was here before, there is the walk actually is totally fine into the city. Or quite a lot of you guys actually commented on my videos or messaged me on Instagram to say, hey, did you know that you can actually take the metro up to the city from the cruise? So I can't advise on that because I didn't do it, but quite a few of you guys had. So thank you so much for, I guess, sending that advice in. Um, now, my plan for today is to get up onto the deck to go for a bite to eat for breakfast. And then I'm heading up to the food hall. Now, the food hall is literally about a 15, 20 minute walk from the ship and I fell in love with it when I was last year. It's such a cool building, the food in it is great. It's one of those places a bit like the market in Madrid, where you go in, you can buy little bits of everything for kind of four or five euros and snack there or take it away as gifts and that kind of thing. I absolutely love when I go on holiday. So look, let's get up. I'm, I'm gonna have to go to the buffet today because I am not early enough for breakfast. I think the main dining room on this ship closes at 9 a.m. and yeah, on holiday, I ain't doing 9 a, a 9 a.m. or an 8.30 a.m. breakfast table. So we'll head up to the buffet, get a quick bite to eat, and yeah, I'll probably speak to you very briefly up on the deck. Oh yeah, one more thing before we go. Yes, it is the first week of January, and yes, my polo shirt is thousands of little reindeer wearing Santa hats, but 
we're not going to talk about that. So I will see you up on the top deck. Now, just before we head up to the top deck to kick this video off, I did want to actually address something that quite a lot of you guys have already dropped me a message on Instagram to ask about, and that is, what is the quality of food like on Virtuosa? Now, MSC gets a really mixed reputation for the food that they offer, and what I wanted to do here was give you a really quick insight to what the buffet is like in the morning. Now, I'm going to upload a separate video over the next couple of weeks, which looks at, I guess, a full overview of all of the restaurants on board this ship. I did upload a similar video a few months back, but I wanted to upload, I guess, a more up-to-date one now that I've been back on. But generally speaking, in the buffet, I genuinely thought the quality was 100% there up here. This was no different to what I've seen from the likes of P&O, the likes of Princess this year, and yeah, really, really impressed from a buffet point of view. As I say, I'll get a full food tour online shortly, so stay tuned for that. But for now, yeah, as you can see, buffet, pretty good. Okay, breakfast done, and I'm hoping that you can hear me because I've got music playing up here. But I'm currently wandering around the pool deck, so up on the top of the ship. And it turns out we are docked exactly where I thought we would be, which is in the pretty much the city centre. So if you look over my shoulder at the moment, you can see that you've got the kind of business district there. You've got like the river boats that sit here, and this bridge is basically the one that you want to take from the ship across into the city. It's a really easy walk, really, really flat, and that's exactly where we're going today. So from here, it'll take us, well, by the time we get off the ship, that'll probably take us about 10, 15 minutes. But then to actually get up into the city, give me 15 minutes and we'll be there. And let's, um, it feels a bit weird saying this because we've only just had breakfast, but let's get to the market for, should we say lunch? Let's go. Yeah, it feels pretty weird being back in here actually, considering the last time was, what, about three weeks ago? But this terminal has got to be the best cruise terminal I have, I think, ever been to. You've literally got the ship there, you've got loads of seats, the Wi-Fi in here is all free. So if you're not taking a package out on the ship, then just stop in here. The crew use it all the time, just stop in here. You can check your emails, you can do whatever. And it's a really quick connection actually, so yeah, definitely stop in here.
Okay, so off the ship and heading up to the market, and I probably should add that if, if at any point today it looks <laughs> or sounds like I'm crying, the wind is so strong here today, so it's kind of coming and going, but when it catches you, oh my goodness, it's almost that way where you actually can't breathe in it. So I am going to head over the bridge and get up for a coffee and some food shortly. So the brilliant thing about this trip to Rotterdam is that because I've been here, I've been here before but also been here so recently, it's actually, I feel as though I know where stuff actually is this time. Now, if you watched my video here before on Arcadia, I was beginning to flap at this point because I had no idea where the market was. As you can see, this street is pretty residential. But what caught me off guard was the fact that it literally just appears out of nowhere, so I'm looking at it now. You can see it kind of curving in here, but this building actually, you can pretty much see it from the ship. So you should get a pretty clear picture when you wake up in the morning how far you have to go. Now, if you're also looking through the cube houses while we're in Rotterdam, you can see them, at, you'll not see it on this camera, but you can see them if I flip the camera now, just down at the end of the street. So really, really accessible from the port on foot. And um, yeah, let's get into this market and find a bite to eat. Wondering about in there, there's actually quite a lot of, I mean I was here what, like three weeks ago I think it was, but there's actually quite a lot of either new things in there, or just things that I didn't realise or spot the first time, so it's probably that, and now if you've seen my Amsterdam video you'll have seen that I absolutely fell in love with those chips that you get in like a paper tote thing, um, with all the mayonnaise, and that is exactly what I have just managed to find in there, so I am going to go devour these and that's definitely not going to be on camera because no one no one needs to watch that and I'm going to head back in and get a coffee and then to be honest it's just going to be a wander around the city seeing what seeing what is here actually there's a cube house I told you about earlier literally right next door um, but yeah have a wander around the city see what else is here and then head back to the ship so I might see you elsewhere in the city and if not I'll see you back down at the port Now, if you do go to check out the food hall, directly behind it, you'll find the cube houses. Now, this is probably the top rated thing to do in Rotterdam. I actually haven't been in, so I can't really tell you <laughs> what it is. From what I can gather, it's just a really different design of a house. Um, I believe there's one that's available as a museum that you can go in, and the rest of them are all occupied. So you probably could fit this in, in addition to the market. So hey, I'll need to do that the next time I go back. 
Right, quick trip up to Rotterdam complete and I am freezing so I'm now heading back down to the ship. This is definitely one of those days where in fact, I'm going to have to turn and walk back here because if I go around that corner it's going to be so windy. But yeah, this is definitely one of those days where like, I wouldn't even be able to put a woolly hat on my head because it would be off before I could even get it on. Um, anyway, I am heading down and to be honest, just going to collapse in a sauna or and a steam room for who knows. I'm, I might not even go back out, I might just stay in there. But like, I'll talk to you about the plan for when we're back on board, um, probably from my room, just shortly. So I'll see you down on the ship. probably hear the wind behind and um, just before I get taken out by a bike <laughs> let's get on to this ship and uh, warm up So I am now back in my room with a brew and to be honest just dead chilled. I I was fully prepped for the hot weather, to, eh, hot weather, cold weather today. I had like my hat, my scarf, my gloves, my ski jacket, my fleece that you guys would have saw. But it was just, I think it was just like the wind was like ice, well, let me put that coffee down. The wind was like ice cold out there and yeah. The minute, the minute I could see the ship, I thought, oh man, I just, I feel like I just need to be back on there. So Rotterdam as a city, I really, really enjoy it as a cruise port because it's easy to get around. You can walk there from where the ship docks. It's just really hassle-free, I guess. Now, remember, if you are planning to come here on a cruise, this city is only about 45 minutes on a train out of Amsterdam. So that's where I went last time. It's really easy to get in. You just go to the train station and then you can jump in pretty quickly. If you want to see what coming here on a ship and visiting Amsterdam is like, then just head over and check out my Arcadia vlogs. Um, and I took you guys in there last time, obviously. Now, today, I actually really enjoyed that. Um, although it kind of, it probably looks in the video as if it was just a wander around the city and a trip to a market. To be honest, that was exactly what it was. I just needed, I think I just needed quite a chilled one today rather than running around everywhere trying to see everything. Because, yeah, Bruges, Bruges was actually pretty intense this week because there was a lot that I was trying to tick off, I guess. So, yeah, today, today's been very welcome. Now, plan back on the ship. So, looking at the daily, uh, daily schedule, there's not really, there's not a huge amount going on today. And it's one that generally I feel, I feel like that is the case with MSC. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just factually when I look at the agenda or the schedule, whatever you want to call it, Factually, when I look at that versus the other cruise lines I've been on this year, 
MSC is one is the lightest at 100% is, it's, it's not a good thing, it's not a bad thing, so don't take that as a criticism. It just depends what you want. I definitely spend more time kind of chilling on my own on an MSC cruise. I, I love that, but it's good to see actually that they have brought in, I said earlier in the week that we were missing that solo traveller meetup, but that's been back on yesterday, the day before, and today I'm losing track of what day it is today. But for three days now, that Solo Traveller meetup has been on. And it is on tonight, so at five o'clock, yeah, Solo Travellers get together. I won't be at it because it's at a really annoying time, so it's at five o'clock. Um, ultimately, the reason it will be at five is because the first dinner sitting on here is at 5.30. So they'll be trying to do it before people then split up. But it's just a wee bit early for me because I ideally now want to go and check out the gym, want to check out the spa. And then also want to be on the deck for sail away. So yeah, I kind of feel if I was on a lounge on the inside of the ship, I'd be missing out. And I'd yeah, I'd just be wanting out of there. So I'm gonna give that a miss tonight and just stick with the solos that I know from dinner. So yeah, look, I'll walk you through the plan for tonight when I get back to the room, but I am gonna just chill here for half an hour. Um, and then as I say, head up to the gym, hit the spa, and then come back and think about getting ready for dinner after we've left the port. So yeah, I'll take you up onto the deck and yeah, show you what sailing out of Rotterdam is like. Okay, spa done and now we're heading up to the top deck for sail away. I'm actually going to be really surprised if we do leave here on time just due to the wind. Um, when you leave Rotterdam you basically have to go down a river for a couple of miles so yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if they delay that but let's see. Um, very quiet inside today, you can probably see down there a little bit. Um, there's not too much going on right now, but we'll head up to the top deck, see if there's any life up there, and yeah, as we get underway, over to La Harve. the wind has now finally died down and we're ready to leave Rotterdam. The really nice thing here tonight is that the decks are rammed with people so you can see all over that section there, the camera might not be picking them up, and that section over there, everyone is like lined up to watch the ship leave which is quite rare you get that in a cold weather cruise so yeah I'll show you what it's like and I will speak to you again when we are pushed off and underway. Okay, I know I said I'm going to see you back in the room, which I will, but I should maybe confess I've decided to go to the buffet en route. Now, it's about an hour and a half before dinner, which means I'm well within my rights to have, hopefully, some curry <laughs> to warm back up. So let's go in, have a look and see what's there, and um, yeah, I'll catch up with you properly back downstairs. Okay, 
Okay, so I am back in my room, ready to go back out for the night. Now, sailing out of Rotterdam, this is a really nice port to sail out from. Um, as you can hopefully have seen in those clips, the ship literally docks in the centre. And when you sail out, the fact the ship did a full turn actually was really cool because it gave us a very different perspective as it kind of spun round. But yeah, as you leave, you get such a good view. When I was here on Arcadia a few weeks ago, it was a bit of a funny one because we docked on one day and we left on another day and both arrival and departure were at lunchtime. So it was it was really nice actually to get to see the approach and the departure during daylight because you got, yeah, a bit of a, probably quite a unique perspective because most ships would leave at night. But I did really enjoy that up there because, I mean, it looked like a completely different city in the dark. So yeah, that, that was really, really nice. Um, the plan for tonight, so tomorrow we dock in Le Havre, which I've never been to before, but it's the port that you can access um, Paris from. Now, <laughs> a lot of my friends laugh when I say it's the port you can get to Paris from because I don't think it's actually anywhere near Paris. I think it just it just happens to be the closest port, but obviously Paris is hardly a beach town. So um, yeah, I think some people on the ship will probably have relatively long train and bus journeys ahead of them tomorrow. I certainly won't because I am going to have tomorrow as, um, to be honest, a bit of a down day and a bit of a recharge day because on, what day are we on? On Friday, so the following day we'll get to Southampton and that, we're not talking about that yet, but that's when I get off the ship and then on the Monday I will go back to work. So yeah, I'm going to need a little bit of a recharge because the weekend for me is going to be really busy when I go home. So as much as I don't really like to think about that yet, um, yeah, I definitely need to have a bit of chill time tomorrow. So I am just gonna go to like the town or the village closest to the port. So if you um, if you follow along in my next video, you'll see, I guess, how to do anything local to La Havre on a shoestring. I'll probably just get off, explore, grab a coffee, maybe a bite to eat. I mean, it, would <laughs> it wouldn't be a cruise that I'm on if it wasn't constantly a bite to eat, would it? So I'll commit to that tomorrow to show you guys. Um, then I'm going to bring you back and show you some more of Virtuosa um, while hopefully she's a little bit quieter tomorrow with people ashore. Um, but anyway, the plan for tonight, so I am so buzzing for tonight. So a couple of nights ago, we were meant to go to that Carousels at Sea show, which is like the fancy one that you pay, well fancy, the one that you pay extra for on MSC. And when I did this same ship actually for Norway earlier in the year, I did both of them. So there's two that you can pick from. If you buy before you got on the ship, which is what I've done, it's £9 per show and that includes like a cocktail. But if you buy when you got on the ship, it's 15 including a cocktail. So it's a good bit cheaper for you to buy in advance. And honestly, I can tell you now, I haven't even seen it yet because, what, well, the one the other night got cancelled. But I can tell you now, it is so worth the £9. So if you've got a trip booked on this class of ship and it's got a carousel production on it, I honestly can't encourage you enough to book it. And again, as I said the other day, this video is not an ad, so genuine, <laughs> genuine opinion. Um, but yeah, so we have got, I guess, the, the let's try again of that show that got cancelled the other night. So hopefully it goes ahead because I am I'm actually going to be really gutted if I get off this ship and don't go to that show because it's, it's just one of them that you sit there for half an hour and just think, wow, like <laughs> what is actually happening in here? So I've got that tonight at quarter to 10, which means that before that, I'll be back in the main dining room. So yeah, I'm intrigued to see the menu tonight because the last couple of nights, it hasn't really, do you know when you go in a restaurant and it doesn't really set you on fire, um, which is maybe I, get, I actually get pulled up a lot for using strange terminology. Maybe that's a strange term to use, but I mean, it doesn't like excite you. Like you're sitting looking at a menu, not really too sure what to order. That's sort of what the last couple of nights have been like in the main dining room. So I'm hoping that tonight will kind of break that. Um, so yeah, let's see what let's see what's on offer tonight. So I've got dinner with the other solos at 7.30, followed by the show at quarter to 10. And then to be honest, I'll probably have an early night at that point, which means that this is probably the final time that I am going to see you tonight. So look, as always, just thank you so much from my side. Um, it's amazing to see this channel grow over the last couple of weeks and months and I, I really genuinely appreciate every single one of you that subscribe so if you're not already please feel free to do that you should be able to do it either over there or over there I'm not sure what way this camera will be like when I flip it but under the video you can do that on YouTube and um, yeah I'll take you out in the ship tonight and we'll do a bit of exploring 
and I will see you in my next video. But thank you very much and good night guys. See you later. Bye. Thank you.